Hello everyone, welcome back to another Alio devlog. In this video, I released a closed playtest on the 24th of September, along with a bunch of other mechanical changes and another art style overhaul. Since then, I've just been working on small improvements and updates, all of which you will see in this video. Hello, so it's currently just after lunch on a Monday and I've been working on this new movement option, which is the roll jump. As you can see, you get some added momentum whenever you jump during a roll, and this allows you to sort of springboard over enemies and hazards in a way that I think feels very satisfying. So I'm happy with this progress. It still needs a few more effects, but for now, I think I'm gonna go out for a walk because it's a really nice day. Hello, so it's now a bit later in the evening, about half eight, and I've just been working on adding feedback to the UI when you take damage. And as you can see, I've added this nice little animation that plays whenever you are damaged by an enemy, which I think definitely adds some polish to the effect, and I even got it to play independently of the hit stop, which I was quite happy with. So pretty good progress in terms of polishing and gameplay changes today. Hello, so it's now Tuesday morning at about 11 and I already have a very good update for the day which is that I finally got the map saving and loading system working and this is a task that I've been putting off for a very long time so I'm very glad to have finally got it out of the way and I'll quickly show you how it works. So in the game data class I can just define a vector 3 int list which is saved and then in the map controller whenever the player moves into a new grid tile then this will be added to an array of vector3 ints which is then saved and loaded to that game data class between games so it's actually very simple and it should be fairly expandable so i'm very glad to have that task out of the way and that really sets me on a good path for completing the demo Hello, so it's now around half 12 and I've just been working on this feature. So now as you can see the map is actually blank until you rest at one of these water fountains and then the map will update to whichever locations that you've been to. And as you can see there is also this text which shows up which detects if you have been to new areas and then shows up accordingly. So it's now around one o'clock and I've just been working on another sort of technical thing which is the ability unlocks. So here is the system so far. As you can see I can define some data for each ability and then this script will handle most of the unlocking and I'm just currently working on displaying the unlock and making sure it links up to the input system. But I think that is enough work for this morning, so I am gonna go ahead and get some lunch and catch up this afternoon. So I've been working on this ability system for around an hour now and if I boot into a new save here I should be able to show you. So here you can see the ability pickup and at the moment I can't use the stomp move but if I go into this then I get a title and some descriptive text and from then on I can perform the stomp and this is all hooked up to the save system and should be fairly expandable. Hello, so I'm back with what is probably the last update of the day and I have just got a little bit of work done on the enemy system and what I'm working on is the second enemy for the game which I think is going to be really really simplistic I mean you can see what I've designed it really just dashes towards the player once they get close and then resumes an idle state but it's been a good chance to get familiar with the enemy sort of 
code library again and I used it to extend quite a lot of the default states and behaviors to make the system more modular. Hello, I'm here with another update and it's just after lunch and I have been working on the dialogue system. So as you can see, I now have this NPC and I can interact and then I get this prompt which has options. And then if I move through these, I'm able to select one of these and the dialogue will update properly and then complete the dialogue. So I'm very happy with that for an opening and obviously it needs more development. I'd like to be able to save and load these choices to allow for sort of branching paths. I think this should definitely be enough for the demo. For now though, I think I'm going to take a break from this and start working on some art. Now you may have noticed that I haven't really been doing too much art for this area. It's actually still looking fairly empty and that's because I'm thinking about improving on the art style again slightly. So I'm going to give that a try now. Hello, so it's been around a day since the last update and really all I've been working on is the art improvements I was talking about. I've been creating a new brush set, working on drawing new assets and generally just trying to improve the fidelity of the game. And you may ask why I was doing this since I just overhauled the entire art style two devlogs ago. One, it just seems to be part of my DNA to do this once every couple of months. But two, I was just never fully happy with the vision I had in terms of the art of the game. And I wanted to go for something a bit more painterly, a bit more high detailed over the sort of more cartoony flash animation-esque aesthetic I was going for. I've just been working on these rock assets. I'm about to make a few more, but these are for the area that's actually gonna be in the demo, which is kind of, I'm calling it the gray wastes, but that's kind of a boring name. So I think I need to come up with something else, but these are the assets I've drawn so far. I think they look fairly good. I think I've definitely done a good job increasing the overall detail of the art style. And I'm trying to make these rocks slightly more geometric than the ones I have been drawing for the past area, because the plan is to make this more of a flat area and these rocks are kind of gonna be lying out on the plains. So I'm gonna draw a few more just to have some variety and then I'm gonna start assembling stuff in engine. Hello everyone, so it's now around half 10 in the evening and I've just managed to get this scene set up in engine. And I'm actually really happy with how it looks. I think it's definitely got a nice composition, nice colors, and I'm happy with the assets that I've drawn in the foreground. And I'm happy with the way that I'm managing levels of detail. Like I said, having higher definition assets be in the foreground, fading into these more cut out shapes in a way that I think looks fairly distinctive and interesting. Hello everyone, so it's now around 11 o'clock the next day, it's now Thursday, and I've just been working on trying to refine this new art, trying to add it to the game, and I'll quickly show you what I've worked on. Let me just go into a new game here. So as you can see, this is where I'm at with the art. I am very happy with how it's looking. I think it creates a good atmosphere. It definitely fits more with the vision of what I had for the first area in the demo. Hello everyone, so this is just me checking in kind of late on Thursday evening, it's around midnight. So as you can see, I've been working quite a lot on the art throughout the day and really I've just been tweaking color values and moving stuff around and adding some effects that I think it's made a really big overall difference and I'm actually really happy with how this looks now. Hello everyone, so I'm checking in with another update on Saturday evening and I spent most of the day on these new player animations and this finalized player character and I'm very happy with how it looks. I think it stays true to the design of the last character but it updates it for this new style 
and I think the animations again I reference the old character to create them but I think generally they're a step up in terms of the motion and how they look and everything so yeah I'm very happy with how this has gone. Now this is very time consuming work which is slightly scary in terms of the demo which is meant to be releasing in two days and currently I've got this mishmash of different animations which come from the different <laughs> kinds of player that I've had. Hello, so I'm checking in quite early on Sunday morning and I have a lot of good progress this time. So the first thing is that I have now finished most of the animations for this new player design. The main one was this roll and also the jump and the walk which I showed earlier. So yeah, I'm really happy with how they turned out. I think they look a lot better than the old ones and I'm glad to have that task out of the way. And the second thing is I just did a task which I was not expecting to have to do but I'm very glad I did which was to refactor the knockback system. Now I have this function which literally lets me do whatever kind of knockback I could possibly want with a million and one settings, which is great. Over the next few days, I mainly worked on polish. I improved the player's animations, I designed an entire level, and I really just tried to get all the features up to a level that I was happy with. And after that, I thought I was ready on the 24th to submit an early playtest demo. Hello, so I have just been preparing for the demo and I set up this itch.io page and it includes a feedback form where people can fill in whatever they thought of the demo and then also a Trello which will be updated with bugs. I'll put this in the description of the video as well. This page is only accessible through a key at the moment which I've given to around 10 people in my Discord server. So yeah, all that I have to do now is wait and see what people's feedback is. At this point, I was pretty nervous because no one has really properly played any long-term project that I've ever worked on before. I've released jam games, but never anything that I've put this much time into. Hello, so it's now the morning after I released the first demo and I now have basically all of the feedback. And generally, I think it was very positive. Obviously, it was a very limited build of the game and I could feel that in the feedback that there wasn't really enough to go in a lot of cases. But generally, people seem to enjoy the movement and the combat and the general gameplay. What I now have is a very long list of improvements and bug fixes to get through which hopefully I will be able to get through in the next few days and then I'm going to release another demo build. After that I really went into overdrive working on the game. I was incredibly thankful for the amount of feedback I received and using it I basically redid the entire player movement system, loads of the enemies, loads of the level design, but after going through that process maybe four or so days of polishing the demo I think it's feeling a lot better. Here is a little gameplay section of one of the new enemies that I added. Hello everyone, so I am just checking in with a final bonus update, around 5 or 6 days since my last update. And I have just released demo build version 0.1.2 which addresses a lot of the feedback from the first demo. You can see the change log here. And I have just been working on polishing and improving most of the core mechanics. I was kind of working on them in a vacuum so getting all of that feedback was incredibly helpful. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this build and I think I'm ready to move ahead with the next demo version, which is going to be fairly close to the actual demo version which I released to everyone. But yeah, huge thanks to all of my playtesters and if you haven't already, make sure to join the Discord for updates and to fill in the playtesting Google form if you're interested. Hi, so I am just recording the outro of this video. I've just been editing it today, the 30th. And looking back, sorry I got a bit shaky with the filming at the end there. I was mainly just really focused on development because it was quite hectic around the demo. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to be involved in more community stuff and get more frequent updates on the game, make sure to join my Discord at the link in the description. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the slightly different editing style that I was going for. And I will see you in the next one.